Hey guys, what's up? This is Cowboy Master here. Today I'll be showing you guys my fossil collection that I have been promised you guys for a long time. Here I've got both the boxes that I like to keep them in. On the left side I got some teeth from some really big dinosaurs and some sharks and all. And here I've got some invertebrates, some amber and some things I'll be showing you guys separately. Okay, so let's take a look at the box first. Right, so the boxes that I keep them in have these ceilings to them to protect the fossils from dust or some light exposure, all these types of things. Here I've got some old fossils like trilobites which are really fragile because I believe them to be around 500 million years old. So yeah, I like to protect them a lot because I don't want them to be breaking or damaging anything like that. So first let me show you guys one by one separately. Okay, so let's start with the right side, which are the most common fossils you guys are probably used to. So here is the big big trilobite that I've got. This one's pretty nice. Most of them are from Morocco. This one I believe to be too. From Morocco. I did some work on it because it was pretty bad. And I believe it looks pretty good now. A bit damaged, but whatever. Here's another trilobite from Morocco, this one is the first fossil I ever got, I bought them online on some shops. Here is I, what I believe to be a giant eastern murex, this one is the only fossil that I actually found. I found this a long time ago when I was younger, pretty nice to see. Here's a nemonite that I was told was from Germany when I bought it, it's pretty damaged but whatever, it's my only trilobite, not trilobite, ammonite and I really like it. Here's a little tiny ammonite, hard to see. This one came as a bonus when I bought a bunch of fossils together, pretty awesome. Here are just some shells that also came as bonuses, really cool common shells that became rock. And here is just a piece of ember with nothing in it, just a bunch of little things, <laughs> I don't know what they are, not insects or anything like that but yeah here's the first box let me show you guys a bit closer I really like this one people don't like this type of invertebrate things but I really like them I find them pretty awesome and they're pretty old they're one of the most ancient things in this planet so now let's switch up to the left side which is probably the most interesting part for most of people here it is first I will show you guys this tooth and jaw piece that I got. I have no idea what this belongs to. I remember some people helped me and identify it but I do not remember the name right now but it used to be an ancient fish that is, has now been extinct. Here's a sand tiger tooth, pretty small, not much to it. Here is a crow shark tooth, the only one I've got. It's pretty awesome, I really like this one since I only got one. And here's a bunch of Ototus obliquus tooth, teeth. I've got some small ones and some medium ones. I really like this one because it's more detailed and all. Pretty nice but pretty common. I plan on getting Megalodon but at the moment they are pretty pricey where I live. So I will probably only get them in the future. Here are some Mosasaur teeth, Prognatodon more specifically from Morocco. These ones are quite small and this one's a pretty big one that I've got, pretty nice. All of these came from Morocco too, I bought them on the internet but you guys can find them in every antique store you've searched for. Here's a Spinosaur tooth which is probably the nicest one, the only theropod I've got and the only land creature that I've got too which I find to be pretty awesome. This one is probably my favorite part of the collection, it's pretty expensive uh, along with this Mosasaur one, but yeah, this one I find it to be really nice since there are not that many in the world nowadays because people have been buying lots of these and I really like it. So yeah, let me show you guys the collection once again, an overall look of them, the side box, here it is, I forgot to show you guys a close up. I really like my fossil collection, let me know if you guys also have fossil collections of your own. It's pretty nice, like a private museum I've got at home. And I plan to expand it more and more, 
Let me know if you guys would like to see more fossils of mine when I buy them in the future. And please remember to subscribe. Bye!